morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We want your kids to, well, have, be safe and look awesome when they're out on the bike. So we brought in Krista Robinson. Join us from MEC. We're talking about uh, some really great ideas to add some extra illumination to my kid's bike. Yes. We start with, uh, let's start with this one, like kind of a take on the old reflector uh, we got there. Yeah, exactly. But that one uh, lights up red and you can actually have it flashing as well. So at nighttime when the wheel's spinning, it provides a lot of side visibility, um, which is nice. Excellent yeah, idea. The how one, about, oh, how yeah. about the uh, pothole activated one? Exactly. So this one's motion activated. Uh, it just goes onto the valve. Uh, and yeah, it's really bright at night. Again, when the wheel's spinning, it looks pretty darn cool. And yeah, and, and uh, other than looking really darn cool, it's also about visibility, right? We want them to be seen as much as possible. Exactly. And uh, it's nice when safety kind of is fun for the kids. So those ones, lots of kids enjoy. Yep. Um, and then we've got our typical front light uh, and rear light. These two are actually uh, rechargeable lights, which is kind of neat. So you don't need to replace the batteries. They're just nice. a USB rechargeable. So for the mom and dad who are constantly looking for new batteries, we don't have to sweat it with those ones. Exactly. Uh, we also put a safety kit in the bottom of the seat. Yeah, so you can put in uh, snacks or, you know, if the, the kid's going for a longer ride with their parents, they can carry their own repair kit. Um, and then we've got a bell. Which, which people forget standard. is actually a, a safety feature. Yeah, oh yeah. Just so letting people know if they're riding and coming up behind them. Uh, and then another cool thing for lights and visibility, uh, if you remember at the festivals when I was a kid, they had all these things that you slap on. Oh, yep. that didn't work so well. You gotta do it harder. I do it through harder. <laughs> um, and this one actually, I don't know if the camera can see it, but it actually blinks red. So you could have this on the side that's gonna be facing traffic on right. their arm or on their leg. Um, and that's just another, again, way they can be more visible while they're riding. Because if there's any concerns at all about visibility, you know, I'm thinking he's just not visible. Uh, you know, we got the front cover, we got the sides covered, but what about the top? This is a great way to go. Exactly. Gotta go hard. Yeah. You're too nice to me. Uh, <laughs> speaking of being hard, we want to make sure that everybody's got a brain bucket. Uh, it'll soon be a requirement. That's true. Anybody under the age of 18 will be required to wear a helmet in Manitoba. Um, and helmets aren't just for kids, adults too. Set a good example, wear a helmet. Um, so these two here, when you're fitting your kid for a helmet, basically they should be able to put it on comfortably mm -hmm. and not have the chin strap done up, but still be able to move their head back and forth and up and down. And it shouldn't move at all um, with the chin strap not done up. Uh, generally, lots of helmets will come with different uh, thicknesses of foam on the inside. Right. So pick the one that is most suitable and go from there. Uh, and also, these ones, uh, I particularly enjoy the Sparkla helmet. Uh, again, keeps it cool and keeps if you're, mind If your kid's it. gonna be evil can evil, you might yeah. as well at least look like it. Totally, uh, yeah. And if you wanna make sure that they're safe and you need information when it comes to fitting your bike or fitting the brain bucket, you'll want all the info at breakfasttelevision.ca. You'll find MEC. I know I don't have a, a helmet and I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I gotta go. Oh, we got plenty coming up today on Breakfast Television. Looks like See ya. Day.